the wedding ceremony was proceeding smoothly, enveloped in an aura of joy and anticipation, however, the atmosphere shifted abruptly when the observant priest presiding over the ceremony detected something unsettling about the bride, with a subtle yet decisive gesture, he halted the proceedings, much to the astonishment of the congregation, this interruption came as a shock to the parish, especially considering that the officiating priest was not the usual parish priest, Father Osborne, known for his years of dedicated service at All Saints Church, Father Osborne had earned widespread admiration for his gentle demeanor and unwavering commitment to the community, his presence at the wedding held special significance, marking the culmination of his lengthy tenure, Elias, deeply ingrained in the fabric of the town, shared a close bond with Father Osborne, having once served as an altar boy under his guidance, renowned as the town's dependable electrician, Elias was esteemed for his skillful craftsmanship and amiable nature, however, beneath his outward competence lay a history marked by personal tragedy, his heart still haunted by the loss of his ex-wife six years prior, in the quiet enclave where Elias resided, opportunities for companionship were scarce, the tight-knit community, accustomed to the ebb and flow of its tranquil existence, rarely witnessed newcomers, thus, when Gertrude, a mysterious stranger, appeared on the scene, the town's curiosity was piqued, her Enigmatic presence sparked speculation among the townsfolk, unaccustomed to the arrival of unfamiliar faces in their midst, Gertrude's arrival was not merely new but profoundly mysterious, casting ripples of curiosity through the tranquil waters of their unassuming town, her strangeness lay not only in her enigmatic presence but in her peculiar habits, which set her apart from the tight-knit community, rarely seen beyond the confines of her home, Gertrude shrouded herself in an aura of mystery eschewing social interactions with an air of detachment that left the townsfolk baffled, despite their attempts to engage her in conversation or extend greetings, she remained aloof, adding layers to the enigma surrounding her origins and identity, however, it was Gertrude's peculiar habit of always wearing a veil when venturing outside that fueled the town's intrigue to greater heights, the sheer fabric obscured her features, offering only fleeting glimpses that tantalized but never revealed. Her true visage, this veil became emblematic of her inscrutable nature, stirring both curiosity and suspicion among the townsfolk when whispers and speculation spread like wildfire through the community. Gertrude became the subject of a myriad of rumors and conjectures, some speculated that she was a fugitive seeking refuge from the law, while others attributed her veiled presence to extreme modesty, perhaps driven by personal or religious convictions. However, as time passed and Gertrude remained elusive, more outlandish theories took root, fueling a sense of unease that lingered in the air, whispers of Gertrude's mysterious presence took on a spectral quality, as some townsfolk began to entertain the notion that she was not merely a woman but a ghost haunting the sleepy streets of their town, others, delving deeper into the realm of the supernatural, suggested that Gertrude was possessed by an ominous force, her peculiar behavior and veiled appearance serving as evidence of otherworldly influence, with each passing day, the murmurs and speculation swelled, intensifying the town's fascination with Gertrude and the enigma she embodied, everyone harbored their own theories, yet the truth remained elusive, shrouded in the same mystery that surrounded her, thus, when news of Elias' proposal to Gertrude spread through the town like wildfire, shock rippled through the community, how had this come to pass, the sudden development left the townsfolk bewildered, unable to reconcile Elias' connection with the mysterious woman who had captured their imaginations, the revelation of the proposal only deepened the town's curiosity about Gertrude, how had she managed to enchant Elias, the esteemed electrician, this newfound intrigue propelled the townspeople to redouble their efforts to unravel the truth behind Gertrude's enigmatic allure, their desire for answers burning brighter than ever before, when the wedding day approached, the once quiet town found itself abuzz, with speculation and anticipation, with whispers swirling about the mysterious woman Elias had chosen to marry, even Father Osborne, on the cusp of departing from his long-time role as the priest of All Saints Church, found himself drawn into the intrigue surrounding Elias and Gertrude. Despite his impending farewell, Father Osborne's curiosity drove him to delay his departure until after their wedding, eager to witness the union firsthand and perhaps unravel the enigma of the elusive bride who
had captivated the town's attention, anticipation reached its peak when the much-awaited wedding day finally dawned, infusing the town with an electric excitement, however, amidst the preparations for the ceremony, tragedy struck with unexpected swiftness, Father Osborne, who had eagerly awaited the opportunity to bless Elias and Gertrude's union, was met with misfortune when he suffered a fall down a flight of stairs, leaving him injured and unable to officiate the wedding, the sudden turn of events cast a somber shadow over what was meant to be a joyous occasion, leaving Elias and the entire town in a state of disarray, with Father Osborne incapacitated, there arose an urgent scramble to find a replacement to preside over the ceremony, in the face of this unforeseen setback, Elias grappled with the difficult decision of whether to postpone the wedding or seek an alternative solution, despite the objections of the townsfolk, who insisted that the wedding must proceed as planned. A visiting priest was hastily summoned to officiate in Father Osborne's absence, the sudden change in arrangements heightened the existing anxiety among the townspeople, this replacement, Father Marcus, was an enigmatic figure known for his peculiar demeanor, he had arrived in the town just a week prior to the wedding, captivating locals with his age and mysterious behavior, Father Marcus's nocturnal habits, spent in solitary prayer and study of ancient texts and incomprehensible languages, intrigued and unsettled the community, rumors circulated, portraying him not merely as a priest but as an exorcist with a unique ability to detect and combat malevolent spirits, the prospect of such power fascinated the townsfolk, fueling speculation about the secrets he might uncover, however, Father Marcus seemed unperturbed by the attention, directing his focus singularly upon the bride-to-be, Gertrude, from the moment he laid eyes on her, he sensed an inexplicable aura surrounding her, prompting him to delve deeper into her background, disturbing dreams plagued Father Marcus in the days leading up to the ceremony, hinting at hidden truths he struggled to comprehend. When the wedding day approached, Father Marcus's unease intensified, convinced that Gertrude harbored secrets beyond the surface, determined to uncover the truth, he embarked on a quest to unravel the mysteries surrounding the bride. Finally, after numerous delays, the wedding ceremony commenced, with Elias and Gertrude standing at the altar, their futures poised on the brink of revelation, Father Marcus stood close to the pair and felt, even with his sharp sight and remarkable intuition, that something was wrong, he looked through the lighter veil covering Gertrude's face, and what he saw took his breath away, he abruptly stopped the proceedings, startling Elias and the other guests, Father Marcus demanded in a tone that would not accept an argument that Gertrude take off her veil, disregarding the possibility of embarrassment, Elias was taken aback by the sudden shift in the circumstances. And he watched in disbelief as Gertrude paused, when Gertrude gradually disclosed the shocking sight, the assemblage came to a complete halt, which contributed to the growing sense of suspense that was present in the atmosphere, in spite of the fact that she was plainly quite beautiful, her lips had been removed, and all that was left was her teeth and smooth skin revealed in a shocking display that was reminiscent of a low-budget horror documentary, it was impossible for the audience to believe what had just taken place, and they were in a state of shock, Elias was unmoved by the gasps and wide-eyed looks that were directed toward Gertrude when he stood immovably by her side, because his love was more profound than societal conventions and fleeting opinions, he did not hesitate to embrace her despite the fact that he was familiar with her scarred face, Gertrude's appearance had little impact on Elias's decision to marry her, despite the fact that his love for her had evolved gradually. From their first encounter, which took place when she first arrived in town, as a demonstration of the breadth and depth of his love for Gertrude, Elias's unwavering commitment to her remained unwavering in spite of the shock and confusion that occurred among the crowd or rundown, old building in town that was without electricity and required Elias, the town electrician, to come and was one of the rental properties that Gertrude had rented out, Elias was drawn to the mysterious woman who moved around with her veil and communicated through written directions when he arrived to fix the wiring in her new home, she was a woman who spoke through written directions, Elias repressed his curiosity in order to concentrate on the task at hand, which proved to be effective in returning the electricity to her residence, after that, he packed up his belongings and went, however, the following day, he discovered that Elias had discreetly taken one of Gertrude's special pens and placed it among his equipment, he was completely unaware of this, an unannounced visit was paid to Gertrude by Elias the next week, 
motivated by his curiosity as well as his desire to retrieve the item that he had misplaced. This accidental visit would set the stage for a devastating encounter that would affect their lives forever, but he had no idea that it would be the catalyst for such an encounter. When Elias approached Gertrude's home, he noticed that it was filled with smoke, he glanced through the windows and noticed that the door was not secured since it was not locked. Gertrude was found to be sound asleep in the sitting room, but her veil was missing. He went inside out of fear for her life and discovered her. As soon as Elias became aware that her dinner was on fire, he hurriedly turned off the burner and then ran over to wake her up. Elias, in contrast to many others who would have responded shocked in the past, was unfazed by Gertrude's peculiar appearance as soon as he had a clear view of her face. However, when Gertrude awoke and saw Elias, she screamed in despair, her body reacting instinctively to his sudden presence to the point where she was terrified. Despite the fact that Gertrude initially reacted by withdrawing into another room, Elias remained steadfast in his determination to make contact with her. He yelled out to her, pleading with her to open the door, and expressing his genuine wish to apologize for his intrusion into the conversation throughout the conversation. Over. The course of six arduous hours, Elias remained calmly waiting at the door that was locked, unwilling to give up, Gertrude emerged from the room at last, after what seemed like a lifetime had passed, her eyes were red and swollen from sobbing, and her voice was raspy from the psychological agony she was experiencing, Elias embraced her without any hesitation, providing her with comfort and support during this very moment when she was vulnerable, during the time that Gertrude was crying in his arms. Elias comforted her and affirmed her beauty in the way that she was. The first time Gertrude experienced feelings of acceptance and comprehension was when she was given that gentle embrace. It was this encounter that marked the beginning of a wonderful and one-of-a-kind friendship between Elias and Gertrude, which brought them closer together rather than drove them further apart. Elias, who was aware of the significance of their link, made the decision to keep the matter quiet, keeping in mind the intriguing whispers that were going about the village, their connection grew stronger over the course of time, bolstered by the fact that they had similar experiences, a mutual understanding, and the steady development of trust and love, the realization that Gertrude had the same name and birthday as Elias's late mother served to further strengthen the connection between the deceased and Gertrude, Elias and Gertrude made the decision to get married and spend the rest of their lives together on the basis that they were prepared to move forward with the next stage of their journey together, they chose to have their wedding in private, with the priest being the only witness, and they went on a future that would be filled with love, understanding, and mutual respect for one another, on purpose, it was supposed to be a low-key celebration, a private occasion that Gertrude and Elias would enjoy, with their love being encased in a protective cocoon away from prying eyes, on the other hand, Gertrude had a different intention in mind, she had spent years hiding behind a veil of secrecy, and she was sick of being hidden, she longed to shed the mantle of anonymity and embrace her own self without any trace of shame, rather than merely being a celebration of love, her wedding would be a proclamation of emancipation from fear and shame, she yearned to stand openly before the world, exposed and unafraid, Gertrude communicated her desire to Elias, expressing her desire for a public ceremony, and she was adamant about exposing her genuine self without any reservations. At first, Elias was hesitant because he was afraid of the uncertainties that would come with a public affair, he was anxious about the possibility of being judged and the unpredictability of the crowd, nevertheless, he respected Gertrude's impassioned wish. Knowing the enormous significance of her monumental decision to emerge into the limelight, the moment of revelation that Gertrude had envisioned, would take place after the church service, however, serendipity intervened earlier than she had anticipated, due to a priest who was attentive, with her veil lifted, Gertrude faced the throng with steadfast courage, unaffected by feelings of shame or fear, she was standing in front of the members of the gathering, a horrible accident that occurred when she was young, in which a corrosive chemical stole her lips and left scars that caused her to become distant from society, served as a defining moment in her journey. As a result of being abandoned by the people she had known in the past, she roamed around in solitary until she discovered peace in a close-knit community where love and acceptance were not limited by external appearances in spite of their expectations. The wedding did not transpire in the manner that they had envisioned it would, however. Elias's assumption about how the public would react turned out to be incorrect. The citizens of the village were initially taken aback. 
By Gertrude's appearance, however, they quickly found themselves enthralled by the unfolding love tale, which was a narrative that did not conform to the standards of society and highlighted beauty that went beyond the superficial. Elias was taken aback when a wave of applause erupted, all members of the community rising to their feet in a demonstration of their support and acceptance of the situation. Despite the fact that Gertrude had an uncomfortable appearance, they greeted her with wide arms as a unified demonstration of their solidarity from the beginning. Although Father Marcus first had some misgivings, he was able to observe the shift in perception that occurred among the people of the community, the outpouring of approval moved him, and it was then that he realized his earlier error in judgment, the true compassion and sincerity that emanated from Gertrude's heart was what he now identified as the manifestation of an evil spirit which he had previously seen as being the manifestation of an evil spirit, with the resounding backing of the village, the mysterious priest continued the wedding ceremonies, expressing heartfelt blessings when Elias and Gertrude exchanged their vows after the wedding ceremony had been resumed, the pair successfully tied the knot in the midst of an atmosphere that was filled with love and acceptance, a moment that will be etched into the annals of the town's history history, it was a tale that would be told for many years to come serving as a demonstration of the significance of accepting others who appear to be different from oneself, reflection on the necessity of welcoming those who may appear unusual or different is prompted by this story that is both joyful and uplifting, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.